Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Dare to Game. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and we're continuing our Woman's Lot playthrough. So before we get going with the trial, we're going to have to interview all these people, I guess, and get their testimony. So let's just start off with Brother Nicodemus. He seems to be her, like, Henry, best friend. I must have a word with you. Brother Nicodemus. You've heard something? The Inquisitor has decided that Yohanka will be tried, but he's agreed that I can defend her. That's really quite unusual. It must mean he hasn't come to a clear conclusion yet. Yes. I'll get her out of it. I'm afraid it may not be that easy. The thing is, I expect Johanka will say the same things before the court that she's been preaching. What are you saying? Well, I've been thinking about what she's been saying, and it seems to me her preaching has a certain progression. Are you acquainted with the notion of the three orders of man? Not really, no. It's like this. It's said that everyone has their God-given place and purpose on Earth. Laboratores, Oratores, and Bellatores. Those who work, those who pray, and those who fight. The common folk are born to work, to reap the fruits of the Earth, and to obey the laws of God and man. It is the purpose of the nobles to protect the people and the Church against all dangers and to maintain peace and justice on earth. And the church, in turn, has the task of caring for the spiritual welfare of all, ensuring the salvation of their souls, and bringing solace to the people in times of hardship, so that they can endure their earthly trials and enter the kingdom of heaven. But what's all that got to do with Yohanka? Well, I noticed in her first sermon she primarily addressed the concerns of the common folk, and in the second, she criticized the nobility. Ah. So you think she might start talking about the church? Yes, I'm afraid she might. I dread to think how that might end up. Henry, you must warn her against that. She must show humility before the Inquisitor, and the wisest course would be to admit to being wrong. She's rather stubborn, but perhaps she'll listen to you. But the Inquisitor said no one's allowed to see her. No one except the Inquisitor's own men. You'll just have to think something up. I'm afraid your hanker's fate is mainly in your hands now. I'm relying on you. All right. Well, we're going to uh, not going to go straight to Johanka. We're going to go around and collect all the other testimonies. So I'll just quick, you know, I'll go to each one and I'll just cut in between them. So no more talking until all the testimony is over. You know, at least not for me. So we'll just, you know, go through them all. I know about you and her. She told me everything. Oh. What exactly do you mean? You'd better be very careful what you say, boy. I know you're a married man, but you haven't always been entirely faithful to your wife. How dare you! And you had to pick Johanka. I know all about it. And you should know it's finished. Johanka was feeling vulnerable when, when it was all too much for her. That's all. She and Matthias care for each other, so leave them alone. She doesn't want to have anything more to do with you. And she won't. How dare you speak like that to a noble? You, a blacksmith's brat from Scullitz. If you weren't in Lord Kobila's charge, I'd have you whipped for your lies and dragged behind a horse all the way to Retai. But whoever you might be hiding behind, next time I'll do just that. Now get out! Good Jesus, what do you want from me now? I need something from you, sir. I suppose you heard that Johanka was locked up by the Inquisitor and is facing charges of heresy. I did, and it's most disturbing news. What you might not know is that he's agreed that I can defend her at the trial. You? Do you even know what to say? Sure I know. It'll turn out just fine, trust me. But I need you to testify at the court. In Johanka's defense, of course. Naturally. You don't think I could just sit here and do nothing? Besides, the bishop has already insisted that I appear before the court. Oh. All right. One moment. I apologize if I was a little hasty. This whole affair has left me anxious. I appreciate that you want to defend her. However, I don't think it would have any effect. No offense, but I don't think you'll be able to achieve anything in court. I'm afraid the Inquisitor will judge as he sees fit, whatever anyone says. But I have an idea how you could help. Oh? How's that? Flee. With Johanka, of course. 
No, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm sure Johanka will be acquitted by the court and everything will be all right. Running would just confirm the Inquisitor's suspicions, and she'd always be looking over her shoulder. I don't agree. As I said, I don't believe you can affect the outcome of the court. If Johanka flees, yes, she'll have to lie low for a while, but in time it will all blow over. You can take her anywhere, as long as it's far enough from here. A girl like that will always find her feet. She can easily hide out somewhere where she's not known. Maybe there could even be a place for her on my estate. Think about it. But whatever you decide, if Johanka comes to any harm, you'll have me to answer to. I'm very fond of her, and her of me, and I don't want anything to happen to her, understand? But if everything ends well, I'll show you my gratitude, I assure you. Good. Witnesses can be summoned for Johanka's trial. So, I wanted to ask you if you'd give a testimony. Maybe some learned speech in her defense? I'd be glad to do it. Johanka deserves my help. Such testimonies could carry a lot of weight. You should try and get as many as you can. Goodman Pavel, you're still here. That's a relief. I was afraid I'd miss you. Yes, yes, still here, but not for long. I had some business to deal with, but now that's out of the way and I'm getting ready to leave. What was it you wanted? You might have heard that Johanka was arrested by the Inquisitor and is facing trial. Indeed, word has reached me. Poor girl. I'd like to ask you to speak to the court in Johanka's defense. Of course, Henry. You have my word. And the word of a burger of Colleen ought to mean something. But to speak in defense of someone accused of heresy is no small matter. What do you want me to say? The same thing you told me. That it was a sacred sign that you happened to be nearby when Johanka was speaking, and so on. True. I'll tell the bishop that. You can rest assured. Thank you very much. Please wait here a few more days for the court to convene, then I'll send for you. All right. For Johanka's sake, I'll wait. What are you here for? I need your help with something. I'm sure you've heard. Johanka was locked up by the Inquisitor. Who hasn't? The whole of Sasso is talking about it. And the Inquisitor was asking around about her. I'd like to ask you to appear before the court and say something in Johanka's defense. I can't say I'm keen on going there. But Johanka helped me. And you did too. I think it's only right that someone should say something good about her. Ah, thanks, Guta. I appreciate it. I'll send for you when it's time. Good. Master Bailiff? Inquisitor Yaroslav is going to try Johanka. I know. He was here asking questions, too. Oh? What did he want to know? Various things, like how things are here, whether people are honest, whether we observe the fest days, and so forth. And then he asked about Johanka, about what she preaches, whether people come to listen to her and that. He's been talking to a lot of other people in Sasau too. I even heard that Katra, the swordsmith's wife, invited him to dine with them. That's interesting. Thanks for telling me. Was he just asking questions, or does he want you to testify before the court? Yes. He did ask me to testify, and I'm none too happy about it. I see. And what are you going to say about her? It depends what I'm asked, but there's not much I can say. I don't know your hunker very well. She seems virtuous and self-sacrificing to me. She's never done anything wrong, and no one here ever had a cross word to say about her, until recently. Maybe some gossip about her and Sir Sebastian. But I've heard similar talk about half the women folk here. Now that's just idle gossip. Johanka is a virtuous girl. True. But then there's that preaching of hers. Folk have been falling out. They're split according to whether they believe Johanka or not. I don't know quite what to think of it myself. But I don't want to jump to conclusions. I'll wait and see what the learned bishop has to say. Couldn't you add something good to your testimony for your hunker? I would, uh, show my gratitude substantially. What? Are you trying to bribe me to commit perjury? The Inquisitor will hear how you're going about defending your hunker. Good lord, no. I wouldn't dream of it. I express myself back, that's all. What I was trying to say, rather clumsily, 
is that I'd be very glad if you were to speak on Johanka's behalf. Because she really deserves it. Hmm. Well, I'll overlook your clumsiness then. Thank you, Master Bailiff. Good luck. That donation to the church, did it help? Indeed. Bonham Commune is a prerequisite, if not the very meaning of existence of our Christian society. It expresses not only an interest in a common welfare and order, but also solidarity with the poor and needy. Once again, I thank you. Father, the Inquisitor has had Yahanka thrown in jail. I know, son. He's planning a hearing. Rightly so. It's about time this whole matter was dealt with. What do you think about it, then? As I said, it's a good thing that the matter is being investigated. The things Johanka has been preaching are, to say the least, disturbing. Who knows what these dreams are that she speaks of? And her words are only putting ideas in people's heads and leading them astray. Now, instead of going to church, as they should, they go to her in the false belief that they will find solace. It's creating a chasm between the people and the church and leading them away from the true teaching left to us by Christ. Their misguided and swamped in heretical ideas. But Johanka is no heretic. She's a good, kind girl who's only trying to do the right thing. I'll defend her. Suit yourself. But mind you don't get ensnared in her fallacies and leave it to the bishop to judge the matter. Of course. Now that we've got the uh, most of the testimonies taken care of, I'm going to go try to sneak in and talk to Johanka to get her to maybe be a little bit humble. You know, to avoid a really bad fate for her. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm sure I can get in no problem. I'm not exactly sure where they hold people in this one, but... Hey, clear off. No one's allowed to talk to Johanka. Bishop Yaroslav's orders. I know. I was just testing you. And you pass. I'm with the Bishop Ontorad, and I'm here at his command. Let me in to talk to Yahanka. In that case, you surely know that everyone who comes from the Bishop has to show a document to prove it. Good, good. Your diligence is commendable. I don't have the document on me at present, though. I left it at the monastery. Sorry, sir. We'll have to go and get it. I can't let you in otherwise. I wouldn't want to anger the Monsignor. Of course. And you can actually read, can you? A little, sir, yes. That's why they put me here. Very well. You're clearly the right man for the job. Very well. I'll be back soon with that paper. Good luck, then. Here's the document. See? Show me that. That's fine. Thank you, sir. Take care. All right, time to talk to Johanka. Johanka, are you all right? Yes, Henry. I'm fine. I'm glad to see you. I spoke to the Inquisitor. He wants to put you on trial. I know. It's all in God's hands now. No, it's not. I mean, it is, of course. But the bishop has allowed me to defend you. You want to defend me? Thank you. Henry, that's very kind of you. But you needn't bother. Our lady won't let anything bad happen to me. I am her instrument. And I am completely in her hands. Everything that's happening is her sacred will. But I won't stand by with my arms folded. You need someone to testify for you. As I said, I will defend you. If you insist, maybe it's the will of the Virgin that you came to me. So be it then. About that trial? Yes, the trial. I'll get some people who will testify for you in court. But Brother Nicodemus is worried you'll say things that will make the Inquisitor angry. Please don't do that. You have to talk to him respectfully. Answer his questions with humility, and not say anything to annoy him. And don't say anything against the church or priests. Please. I'll say only what the Blessed Virgin wants me to say. 
fine if that's how you want it. But if you annoy him, you'll make it worse for yourself and me too. I'm trying to help you here. I know. But I can't let Our Lady down. After everything, I will fulfill the task she gave me. And then she'll heal Matthias. That's all that matters. A sacra. This is going to be a right mess. I went to Ujits, like you asked. That's good, Henry. I hope you purged yourself of your sins. I did the pilgrimage of penance, like you said. And in the church, I begged the Virgin Mary for forgiveness. And she will bless you, Henry. You're a good man. Remember that. And don't stray into wrongdoing again. I won't. I made a donation to the church, too. And the parish priest there, Father Godwin, he was asking about you. Was he? Or what did you tell him? Oh, just about everything that's going on and the things you were saying. Uh-huh. Good, Henry. The more people who hear about it, the better. What did Bishop Yaroslav ask you about? All sorts of things. Like how the Virgin Mary visits me, what she shows me, and about preaching to the people. Actually, he was really quite pleasant. He asked me about scallops, whether I go to church, and a lot of other things. And in the end, he told me I mustn't speak in public again about the visitations and that. But I couldn't obey an order like that. The Blessed Virgin is testing me, and I have to do what she asks, no matter who or what stands in the way. I'd say he wasn't too happy about that. No. He came there with his men, dispersed the people, and had me arrested and locked up here. All right, now that we've talked to her, we have uh, one more testimony to take care of before we end this episode, because I think this one's... I'll have to check. I might not end it. We'll see what happens. I don't think I will. I think I'll actually also talk to the Monsignor in this episode. But we have to go talk to the swordsmith's wife. Because I get the feeling that she's the one leading this, uh, all this stuff against Johanka, so we have to take care of her somehow. And I may have to stray into wrongdoing. Because that is my natural instinct, after all. So we'll take care of this. I'm here about your hunker. You're that fella of hers, are you? What do you want? Uh, no. I'm just a friend of hers. Matthias is her, um, fella. Huh. God knows how many she has. I heard you invited Bishop Yaroslav to come and dine with you. Yes, so what? Bishop Yaroslav is an esteemed visitor to Sasau, and it's only fitting he should be suitably hosted by the vowed burghers. And what did you talk about? What we discussed with the Monsignor is none of your business. What have you got against Johanka? Nothing. The question is, what has she got against us? Tell me that. What? She turns up here and tries to tell us how to live our lives, says the Virgin Mary whispers to her in the night. Yeah, I'm sure, to a simple village wench. I'd like to know who's really putting those ideas in her head. She's just getting people all worked up, men especially, coming around here with her nonsense. Sasau is a decent, orderly place, I'll have you know. We don't want any trouble here. All this talk about hellfire and the end of the world. God have mercy. No one is interested in what she has to say. All they want is some spectacle. She ought to have thought twice before she started. Not that she wasn't warned. What do you mean, warned? As I said, she was told. Damn it, woman, tell me what you meant by that. I didn't mean anything by it. Out with it. If you must know, some of the fellas want to have it out with her and tell her to stop. No one wants her speeches here. But would she listen? No. The devil possessed her to bring harm to us. So it was you who sent those men? All I wanted was to protect the Sasso folk against her poisonous tongue. And I'll do just that. The Monsignor asked me to testify in court. And... I'll tell everything I know there. And I'll do likewise. 
farewell. Go. Maybe. I spoke to Yohanka. And did you manage to convince her? I'm afraid not. She's stubborn. She says she answers only to the Blessed Virgin. Oh dear, Henry. That's not good at all. What about her family? Doesn't she have a relative she might listen to? No. None of them survived the raid on Scalitz. She has no one at all left in the world? Poor child. May the Lord watch over you. Matthias? You're better. Henry? Is it you? Yes, it's me. Who else would it be? Oh. I'm glad you're here, Henry. I feel a bit better now. I'd even like to eat something. I must tell your hunker. She'll be glad. Your hunker's not here. Oh? Where is she? Oh, how to begin? Look, things got a bit complicated here. The main thing is... Johanka is in jail, awaiting trial. What? <coughs> what happened? Well, she claims she's being visited by the Virgin Mary and seeing visions. And she was preaching to people about it. But this Inquisitor heard about it and came to investigate. He locked her up. And he's going to try her for heresy. What? The Virgin Mary? Visiting Johanka? Yes. So she says, trouble is, Johanka is very obstinate, and she's likely to say things in court that will just make it worse for her. Listen, Matthias, I need you to go with me and talk to her. Maybe together we can convince her to see sense. I wish I could. But I'm still too weak to even get out of bed. I'm sorry, Henry. I just can't do it. You know what? Tell her I'm feeling better, and I agree with everything you tell her. Give her this dice. She'll understand. It'll almost be like I was there with you. All right. Thanks, Matthias. Henry, please, look out for her. And make sure nothing happens to her. I'll do my best. Good luck to you. About that trial? Yes, the trial. I spoke to Matthias. What? But he's lying in a fever, isn't he? No, he's much better. He asked about you. He wanted to come here, but he's not strong enough yet. Oh, that's wonderful. You see, our lady helped him. And now, I have to do my part. But doesn't it mean that you've already done your part? Well, I... Uh... What would be the point of it all if the Inquisitor were to have you imprisoned now? Or even worse. It's a message. A final test. I mustn't fail now. After everything. But you already passed the Virgin Mary's message on. Many people heard it, and many of them have amended their ways. You certainly haven't failed. Look, Matthias gave me this for you. And he asked me to tell you to look out for yourself. Thank you, Henry. Go now. I need to rest. All right, well, that's where we're going to end it today because this video's already gotten rather long. Uh, so we'll pick it up next time talking to the Monsignor, so we'll see you then. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. If you did, I can assume you like the content, and hopefully you'll subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you haven't already, check out these links I have on the screen to see me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you like my content and would like to support what I do here, there's a link to my Patreon account in the description, and a donation would be much appreciated. In any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.